Hey YouTube, I'm back and I've picked up quite a few more things over the last few days and depending on what your definition of retro is, I picked up a few retro games as well. So let me start off with the, the two PC games I got and they're both sim related. And like I said before, I am trying to go for a complete sim collection on the PC. Really just in general actually. So um, let me start off with the granddaddy of them all. And that's the original Sim City from 1989. Um, has the original box art with the radio. And the box art's slightly different. You can tell this is a later uh, version. Uh, the original had Godzilla on the cover, but um, uh, Toho, the creators of Godzilla, didn't like that, so they replaced it with this tornado. So the box shows definitely some wear, but de uh, definitely for its age, it's in really good shape. Made in the U.S. of A. And the next and last PC game I got is uh, SimCity 2000. This is the original one. Um, they later made like the classic series and uh, a couple like bundles as well. But this is the original SimCity 2000 with Will Wright's signature and another signature there as well. Really good game. I love this game so much. Um, the the bundle pack version, which I do have. Still is that was the one of the was the first Sim City game I've ever played, so uh, I really have an attachment to Sim City that particular Sim City 2000. Um, I got uh, one Saturn game. I haven't gotten a Saturn game in a long, long time. It's nothing special at all. It's just uh, Daytona USA. Even though I already have this game on like a three pack, um, I just wanted to get the standalone version. It was 99 cents, so really can't complain. Uh, the the box is in. Uh, decent shape it's just it's not no really major cracks just really just that one um but it's really scratched to hell um these boxes are like really really terrible and they're really hard to find decent ones um i got one accessory um it's an accessory that i already have but i do have an, an extra it's for the um the ps2 slim and that's the uh the ps2 slim stand this, this thing is metal um it has a screw and it just like screws up into the uh, the console. I have one of these already for my uh, my my PS2 Slim, but uh, I actually ordered the uh, the silver version of the PS2 Slim, so I just wanted to get a stand for that. So that's uh, really nice. I think I also picked this up for 99 cents. Um, uh, keeping with PS2, I got one PS2 game. It's a game I've been wanting to get for all the longest time, ever since it ever since it was like being promoted and came out several years ago. And that's War of the Monsters. Um, it's pretty much like a 1950s like monster movie game. You pretty much pick like a monster, like you can pick like a walking eyeball or a, a robot or like King Kong or like Godzilla. And, you, and you're like in the 1950s, you can throw cars, the, ar the army is trying to stop you. Um, you can destroy buildings and stuff like that. And these like, you know, like the little humans are running away. Really cool game, really, really good. Um, if you can definitely find it, definitely pick it up. It's a really interesting game. Um, okay, um, when I guess, I guess the reason why I say I bought, I got a bunch of retro games, I kind of consider the, the last generation kind of retro, and like I said before, I am trying to go for a complete original Xbox collection, so I haven't picked up any, um, original Xbox games in quite a while, so I did pick up a whole bunch of them. Actually, these first three, I actually had for a long time, I just never really got around to showing them off, I actually kind of forgot about them, to be honest. And uh, that I picked these up from a GameStop. Um, uh, GameStop got rid of their Xbox games a long time ago, so they uh, kind of like um, they still have them around, sort of. They just have them in like just certain spots. I actually had to go all the way down to Miami to pick these up. Um, and the first one is uh, World Championship Poker. A lot of these games, these games I like these three games in particular. I have like zero interest in, but just to get a complete collection, I just had to pick them up. So I world world uh, championship poker. I have like no interest in poker. I have to be honest, I don't even know how to play poker. Um, this is another one I have zero interest in because it's like some hippie bullshit. It's uh, your self fitness. It's all yoga and crap like that, whatever. And then uh, pro stroke golf world tour 2007. From Oxygen Games, obviously um, a quality company. All right, and then these bunch right here. Um, Play and Trade was having a deal, uh, three Xbox games for uh, I think it was nine ninety nine. Even regardless of how, what the price of the Xbox game is, the the game could have been like twenty seven dollars, and I could have picked like three 
$27 game, $27, maybe a $25 game here, a $15 game here, and it would still be $9.99. I don't know where the hell they came up with that, but I just capitalized on that deal. So I picked up uh, Jaws Unleashed, and as you can tell, this game was normally $12.99, and I picked it up for, oh, I picked it up with uh, two other games for uh, um, uh, $9.99. So I got Jaws Unleashed, whatever. Then uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon uh, for $17.99, which I didn't pay $17.99 for. And then this game right here I've never heard of before. It's from Konami. I've never heard this game of before. And that's uh, Crime Life Gang Wars from Konami. I've never heard of this game. I don't know if it's like Saints Row or Grand Theft Auto. or I have no idea, but um, whatever. Then the I got another three games because I got another three Xbox games for $9.99. And uh, um, Dynasty Warriors 5, so that's typically 20 bucks. I got it for not for that price. Um, then Worms 4 Mayhem. Typically, Worms games are pretty um, pretty pricey, so I actually love these games. The 3D games are not as good as the 2D games. And then for some reason, I've been I remember when the Xbox first came out. This is one of the games that they pushed the hell out of, and um, that was like one of the tech demo games. Um, and that is uh, Shrek from a TDK. Um, looking back on it, judging from these screenshots, it looked really crappy. But I remember specifically this this game was one of like the games that they pushed as like one of their big like their graphics, the uh, one of the tech demos. So um, it looks pretty shitty now, but this is one of the big games that they pushed. And I've been looking for that game for a while. There's also a sequel to that that game, but I, I'm, I'm still looking for that one. Um, all right, I picked up a whole bunch of PSP games, and a couple of them are pretty rare, and I'm pretty thrilled that I did find them. The first one has to be the one of the stupidest covers I've ever seen for any game in a long time, um, and that's Pocket Races. It actually has one of the stupidest names, too. Um, it's from Konami, but this box art is just stupid. It has, like, some four really crappy-looking uh, 3D cars on the bottom, some goofy-looking guy, and these, like, sim... They look like the... from characters from the box art of like sims um kind of like twisting around and the, just the premise of this game is just ridiculous it's just you and your friends were the life of the party until a mysterious soul stealer showed up and turned you into tiny cars like what the hell is that um it's also used a havoc engine i can't imagine what it would be used for but um whatever uh, this next one I've actually been looking for for a while. It's nothing really that particularly special, but it's um, something pretty interesting. And that's EA Replay. It um, has 14 classic EA games, such as like uh, Desert Strike, Wing Command, um, Mutant League Football, Syndicate, Road Rash. Um, so let's see what it got. It's got uh, Wing Commander, Wing, Wing Commander Secret Missions, uh, Budokan, Budokan, Road Rash 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Haunting, starring Polterguy, uh, Syndicate, Ultima, The Black Gate, Virtual Pinball, B.O.B., Bob, Mutant League Football, and Desert Strike and Jungle Strike. So that's a really cool uh, bundle. Um, I, I don't I haven't seen too many of these, but um, it's definitely worth the pickup. You get 14 games. I think I picked this up for like six bucks. I don't not even. I think like four dollars. Uh, next one is uh, I think one of the earliest. I think it was a release title for the PSP. It's a really good game. It's from Ignition, and that's uh, Mercury Meltdown. Really interesting puzzle game. I have the limited edition that has Mercury Meltdown and then the sequel. Uh, I think it was just, just called Arch McLean's uh, Mercury something. I forgot. Um, uh, these next two, uh, for me, are like pretty hard to find. Um, uh, this one, uh, I have the sequel. I have the the original one of this one, but this one has just been eluding me for the longest time. I've just never been able to find it up until today, and that's Coded Arms Contagion, um, just a first person shooter for the PSP. Um, I've just been looking for this one for a long time. I just haven't had a hard time. It has the uh, the shiny letters, um, so that's really nice. And then this one's actually really special. It's actually pretty rare as well. Actually, I've seen these on um, eBay going for like 40, 40 to 60 bucks. And this is a Best Buy exclusive, and that's um, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. This has the shiny metallic cover on it. So it's pretty much just like, unlike the other one, which is all colorful, this one's just like black and silver. So it's got the shiny metallic. Um, as you can tell, it's got color here, but it's all black and white up here. 
So that's really nice. Um, this, this is a Best Buy exclusive. All right, and getting to the 360. I only got two 360 games. Um, first one is like I think a, it's one of the early um, Xbox games. There's also a PC game as well. I think it was a PC port. And that's Supreme Command. It's just an RTS game. It's from Aspire. Um, the graphics are really dated now, but um, it's a pretty interesting game as well. Actually, um, I saw there was a really a nice short, um, a cinema short that um, uh, Rooster Teeth made, the ones that made Red vs. Blue on this game, and it's really cool. Definitely check it out. Um, I forgot what it's called, but um, it's the Supreme Command of Machinima. It's really nice. And, of course, like everybody else, I pick, I went to the midnight release, and I picked up uh, Battlefield 3 Limited Edition, and I beat the game already. Um, I'm playing it again on hard, which is almost impossible. It's like super, super hard. Like it like, takes like two shots and you're dead. But this game is really good. The, I have to say, I was really disappointed by the graphics. Like they really hyped up the graphics. I guess they showed the PC version, but the graphics in this game are like terrible. Like that one, one in like particular example I'll, I'll tell you is um, like that. And that I, I guess it's the, um, the that trailer they showed, the 12 minute trailer that they showed you with the earthquake and everything. And you're up on that that. Um, that bridge over the road shooting down and then there's that one part where the helicopter is like shooting its mini guns and then like all the bullets are falling on top of you that doesn't happen in the xbox version i guess it just can't handle it or whatever but it doesn't even show any of that like little details like that like the like the lens flare and stuff like that it just doesn't show up the textures are pretty ugly i'm just really disappointed by the graphics in this game and it really bums me out at points i think actually battlefield bad company 2 looks better than this game but but besides that i think it plays really well and um i'm actually really glad because actually one of the guns i own i get to use in this game so i think that's really cool i, I have an, a yugoslavian sks rifle and they have it in this game and for some reason they call it a sniper rifle which it's really not but um, I just think that's really cool. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching.